Really? I've been talking for 10 minutes. <clears throat> okay, I even did the joke at the beginning. I had this on because I got COVID. <clears throat> and I've been, I forgot to press the go like button. <clears throat> well, that's pretty dumb, isn't it? Anyway. All right, so we'll start again, shall we? Um... Yeah, I, I can't believe I did that. I've been I've been chatting away. I've had a whole a whole spiel. I've had a whole. I've been chatting away for like ten minutes, ten ten twelve minutes, and you lot couldn't see it because I didn't turn it on. <laughs> um, uh, right. Anyway, so okay, let me start again. <clears throat> no, I'm Finn. So, um, yeah, so I mean, my head's a bit in the clouds at the moment. Um, but, um, so basically, uh, let, let me go through it all over again. Right, first of all, the, um, oh, I, I spilled me out as well. <laughs> so first of all, I've got to thank Peter, nostalgia nerd, um, because th this would never have happened without him. Um, I feel I'm getting a temperature coming up already, actually. Uh, this would never have happened without him. But I'm going to tell you a story about the interaction with Peter and then the background story. Uh, some of you know, because obviously I plan for some time to make sure I've got PR in place in our scale of things. Um, and um, one of the key ones, there was one person that there, everyone knows that there was RMC Neil, uh, but Neil, he's seen the monitors, but he he didn't like them, um, and that's okay. But he he was very honourable and he didn't want to review it. Um, uh, so I nearly dropped the project there and then, actually, to be fair. Um, but I decided no because I believe in it. Um, and so it was very important that I got the right kind of people. But I knew that um, a Nostalgia Nerd would be a good channel for me. Now, what I'm about to say may offend people. It's not meant to, but it's only going to offend the, 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 you know, it's not meant to offend anyone. Um, but the his audience to me kind of, and his videos were, were very retro um, about computers and technology and that kind of thing. But without getting religious about it. So um, I thought it would be a good fit. So uh, I booked, as some of you may know, I booked, I went to the OLL 2022 show in 2022 in April. And I booked it for one, well, two reasons. One, to show everyone the monitors, obviously. But the equal reason was to, to, to meet Peter because I knew he was going. And um, to to talk to him about maybe doing a, a, a video about the project. Well, th now we get to the funny bit. <clears throat> now we get to the funny bit. And um, a, a lot of you think I'm probably very confident. Well, like, here's the thing. Is that I, I'm, I'm, no one believes me and no one ever has. Um, I am actually really shy. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not out, I don't. I'm not that outgoing. I don't impose myself on people. That's really, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, um, you know, if you come to me, I'm, I'm, I light up. But if I come to you, I'm really shy, right? So uh, on uh, during the show, and Fassie knows this, and I told Peter this story as well. Um, that um, during the whole show, I didn't go to. I, I walked up to his stand a couple of times. I noticed he was talking to someone, and it was an, enough an excuse in my head. Oh, oh he's busy, and I went away. <laughs> so I didn't actually go up to talk to him. <laughs> and anyway, so thankfully, someone said to him, "You should go and see these monitors." 
So uh, he came along and saw them and you saw the pictures and so on. So we planned that when the Kickstarter was launched, I'd go and visit him and we'd do a review. Now, I always thought he would be very important, which is why I wanted to bring him to, to, to talk him into doing the video. What I didn't realise was how important and how successful it was going to be that he's doing his video. Um, because with my with my market, initial marketing, some would call it spam, hopefully not. I think I was respectful. Hopefully I was respectful. Um, but with my um, my efforts, I actually got it up to 700 followers on the Kickstarter. But unfortunately, when they saw the price, it was always going to be this. Um, a lot of them backed out because it was expensive. Um, 200 pounds. If you take 200 pounds for the cost of the look and the design, yeah, that's what you're paying for that. And the rest of it, obviously, for the panel. So people couldn't, a lot of people didn't understand that or they couldn't afford it. And I understand, and that's fine. Um, but so we got over halfway, which I'm, I'm actually, I was very pleased with. Um, and I thought it would do this. And we, I thought we'd probably get to 160, 70, some, maybe 180. I didn't think a few days ago that, you know, like um, two days ago, actually, that we would get on. Because none of the blogs that Phil was trying to contact, and he's been trying to get the blogs to write about it, uh, um, now, I was hoping LGR, but well, there's nothing really LGR could do because I couldn't visit him and show him it, so it's not really fair. But he did tweet it for me, which I really appreciate. Um, and uh, so, but but very few of the blogs were talking about it. So even though we contacted him, tried to explain it, um, they probably will after, <laughs> but it doesn't help then. <laughs> um, but um, so as soon as um, Peter's video, because he wanted me to see it first and just make sure I've got that everything was correct. And uh, and I, I was blown away for the first cut. Um, but when the second one came along, I was like, wow, I'll just, just make it live. <laughs> as soon as it went live, bang. <laughs> um, you can see now that it's 243,000. Um, I would not be surprised if it gets close to 300. Um, now, just to be clear, I'd all I know that the there's um, the first stretch goal is the solid stand. Don't worry, I'm making it. It's gonna be made. All right? Even if it only just tipped over, I was still gonna make it. Um, I, I I put a stretch goal because it's gonna cost a lot more money and it'd have to come out of the profits, right? But I still want it because I want it, right? And people know me with my projects. They know I kind of overdo things. Um, the, the rotating model is not a simple one because it's quite a lot of, there's a much more expensive tooling to be done. So, uh, that's got to get to the next, uh, uh, the, the 299 or as close as possible. Um, and, uh, so th th yeah, you're going to get the stand, uh, what you, if you use it or you don't, it's up to you, but you're going to get that solid stand. Um, which I think gives it the look, and it does give it that really nice look. Um, and there's a, but there, now more importantly, now um, as people who, let me just have a check out. I am starting to get a temperature again. Um, <clears throat> I think, um, where was I going? <laughs> uh, Oh yeah, um, going forward. So um, the one thing with me and Appy have been doing for the last six months is experimenting. Now, uh, Appy, please don't comment on this, okay? I don't want you because I don't I just don't don't bother commenting on what I'm about to say. So um, we've been doing. You've seen some of the things we've been doing, but what I what I need I need to see is how much. The final figure is, and then I can calculate. I've got to make some, and I'm going to have to go away for a little while. I can't explain why. There's, there's, there's things happening in the background potentially that may allow me to do certain things. Now, all you've got to think of is, by default, you're going to get a great product. What I'm hoping to deliver is an amazing product. So it's always going to be a good product. Everything you've, you know, what you've seen in here is what you're going to get. But I am, 
hoping that we can do this so that uh, I can make I can I can bring back the RMCs back. All the people. No, it's, it's never going to be a CRT. I don't even care. I really don't. Um, because I'm not that bothered about low resolution came in. I don't, you know. Um, it's not a CRT. But for a lot of other areas, being able to... Because people think that, oh, this is all about simulating a CRT because of, you know, a retro game. It's not. This is about a lot more than that. I'm getting lots of emails from people saying, could you make it work on a Sun? Could you make it work on these old Unix workstations? Yes. So we've got bigger fish that we want to help. Um, having said that, we're not forgetting the gamers. Um, so I want it so that I can do that. But there's so I, I can't. You, if you've if you've been watching this, if you've looked, you can read between the lines and see certain things. Um, but just be clear that you're going to get everything that I've said and a bit more. But you may get, I may elevate it higher. Um, and that's what I hope to do. But it needs, I mean, previously I wasn't too bothered about, you know, like the stretch goals. This time, because what it does is having that extra money gives me more flexibility, a bigger pot. And I tend to use that pot of money to improve the product. And then the second round, um, we can reap the benefits. So you get, I mean, <laughs> okay, it sounds like you don't get it. You get everything they get, right, without paying for it. Um, but then I reap the benefits of the cost, the, the profits from the next batch. That That's how I work. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, App is, uh, he's, uh, well, basically, uh, you know, I was talking Byron, and uh, the work with Byron that, that he did was brilliant. Um, and I will, will never, I always appreciate Byron's input. But with App is, I can't, he's there, I've got, the, 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 with App is experience and knowledge, and my, uh, whatever you want to call it, we can between us we can make something that's that's even better than we initially planned that was all the six months of experimentation just let him play let him go off and do stuff and to be honest i don't use that monitor <laughs> he might get upset but that monitor he created i don't use it i really like this one that's got all the just the little basics and there is a very good reason for that and it's not what you think right um but that's an experiment the other one's an experimentation box and it's great Okay, it's absolutely great, but it's not a product, and that's the thing that I want to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make a great product, um, and the more we make, the better. Anyway, right, so let's see if anyone's got any questions. I mean, probably uh, a lot of the questions are going to be, where is he? Because 10 minutes of the stream, I forgot to turn, to go live. Ah. Right. Uh -huh. Uh, bu, bu, bu. It's gone. Actually, what should about app? <laughs> Appy should have told me that I wasn't online. <laughs> uh, anyone else here in that country? That's like <sighs> whoops, a daisy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Oh, by the way. Joke of the day. Right, can you see here? I've got to put a load of pictures of um, Apple II products. Any of you f Apple fans, if there's any out there, um, if you're on the Apple II enthusiast site, uh, two or three people have put a message up. Well, you haven't got anything on there about Apple II. And I, go, I, did a, I did a video on the subject. Uh, I went and visited two Apple II fans with collections and I did a video about the whole thing and I highlighted all the issues and what we're going to fix and what worked great and what didn't. I did the whole thing. So um, <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. I obviously missed it. but So anyway, there's some Apple pictures for you. Um, and I put that video in the Kickstarter as well now. Uh, 
it's good news for everyone. It's niche product. And I believe Peter's subscribers might be. Yeah, no, look, that's that's that. Yeah, I I I think that I thought this in the beginning. Um, you know, this is why I said I booked that show specifically to see to meet Peter. Um, and uh, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I wanted a lot of people to see that. I wanted also for people to. Because obviously, I this the show was basically after the Neil incident, and again, nothing against Neil at all, um, but it did make me question it myself. Um, but the reaction from people coming up, seeing the panels, and seeing the monitors, and seeing everything, just made me go, "Nah, this is a great product. <laughs> this is a really good product." So um, <clears throat> that, that that was kind of important. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, his, his, as I said, his community, I, I, from his videos, uh, he's quite happy to, he's not bothered by the, the, the panel, having a panel. I mean, look, let's give you a bit of history, right? Let's give some actual facts on this subject. CRTs, back in the day, killed my eyes. I've got, I've got a 1084 over there, and, and I used to run it in high resolution interlays all the time, buggered my eyes up. If all you did was play games, great. Didn't bother your eyes. Everything was fine. You have great memories of it. I get that. But CRTs, because of the technology, they're, 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 they're firing photons <laughs> at a display, right? And, and they're not good for your eyes. They're bad for your eyes. So when panels came along, they were much, much better. The problem is the early panels were rubbish, right? Absolutely rubbish. And so CRTs were still much better. And it's taken an awful long time for panels to get there now. Um, I'm not saying it's any recently, it's not. It's probably over the last decade or whatever it is, but they got to a certain point and they were, oh, okay, no, they're actually pretty good. Um, but if you are still, if, you, if you're playing those low resolution retro games, I still see that CRTs have a charm and something that people, and I, I truly understand it, but I never use them. I, I never do. Uh, I, I have them on displays, work, almost like works of art. Um, to be honest, they're getting a bit old, and I don't want to destroy them. But you know, I don't want to use them anyway. I mean, literally, I don't. I'd rather, I'd rather use. I don't, I'm bound to say this. I'd rather use that any day of the week, no problem. But then again, I'm not a gamer, so. Um, but I totally get it. I understand that the, the, the love for CRTs. But my point was the. I, Peter seems to be kind of a retro fan, but not held back by oh it must be CRT, you know. Um, that if you want, he just see, he sees he sees that well you saw the video, he sees that monitor as something that he can use his CRTs when he wants to get the really if he wants the experience, he wants to play, he wants to film. Like, but if he just generally wants to pick a mon a panel up, he can pick that up, put it in any shot. And he's got the shot, and he's got the quality. He can turn it round, and he gets everything because it's a fantastic panel. That really is good. Now, on the Arcuda ones, which is really about the controller, as far as I'm concerned, um, they've got a very, very good controller. So I, 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 I understand the difference, right? So what they've got is the controller I've got has a certain amount of latency. There's a bugger all. So they've designed their controller has been designed around micro latency. <laughs> so um, I, I get that. Um, um, but yeah, so uh, hang on. It's all right, don't worry. It's okay. It's just my camera resetting itself. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, let's have a look at any more questions. Um, Jinx, well, yeah, I, I, I did actually ask Neil, could he just mention it, even if he said it's not for him? Um, uh, yeah. But look, don't, oh, don't hold that, don't hold that against him, because he's a, he's a lovely guy, All right? Um, right, as long as there's some skills that... <laughs> I don't need these, but I back for two because we need more square monitors in the world. <laughs> it's true. There's something about it. it is, I've got. I mean, look. What I'm looking at now is is a is a whole row of sixty three sixteen nine monitors, which I work on. 
Oh, and I've got all these standing. I'm sitting at the moment. I've got a standing desk, and I have it's like a flight deck. And um, but I prefer <laughs> I prefer that if I'm just, I just yeah, it's just old old school. <sighs> Medicine for COVID. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, Uh, even better, giving the leap of faith, giving up your day job to focus on it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Sphincter muscle. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, right? I did the math because I've been selling my cases for two or three years. So I took it on the last 12 months and there was enough to pay the bills. Assuming it continued. And I got some really, I got some really nice things coming. Oh, those, a, a one little change. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, there was enough in there to cover my bills. Okay, I had to cover my bills. Um, we all know that, right? But the cases actually do. They, they, they it actually covers my bills, and uh, I can, I can tick over. Let's call it tick over because, but you can't. The idea of the cases was. So I could release myself from the, from the two jobs. And it had come to an end. I'd done it for 15 years. The director, who I love dearly, um, he retired. Um, and the direction was wrong. And I... It's just wrong. Uh, anyway, so... Um, I... Um, yeah, but the, the monitor was going to be the the star product let's put it that way because it was going to be the thing that launched I and mean, just basically paid enough mo you know it, it, it just it, it just made a business out of it let's be blunt it was making a business out of it so this has turned my little I'm not going to call it a hobby business because it has to pay my bills but this has turned my small business into a bigger business and it might allow me to make it an even bigger one I don't want to be huge no, I don't have plans of being a millionaire. My, I always said, uh, if I pay my mortgage off, I've been a success. I know it sounds maybe strange, but as long as I've got enough to do, my kids are okay, and um, you know, so I don't need to be a millionaire. Um, but it's that important. Um, <laughs> do you plan to do any remote control for inputs well technically we do have it um but some of them are uh, bunched so for example when you're on the um remote control now the remote control mate the, the, we've i've now got another another optional controller based on the same chipset by a different supplier the only difference is they understand english better prop and there's nothing i guess my weakness i don't speak chinese um, but the um, they understand me better which means communication to, because there's a lot of stuff i want done to the drive which the other people have already done some but not enough so this might make life easier now. Um, so I've got another potential control, which is always good to have a backup. So um, that that's um, uh, and, and yeah, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> so you basically actually might now that we we've got these as you're probably aware. We have these. Oh, we're having a nightmare with the company because it's Ken's language. Uh, we've got these HDMI switches, which we're. I don't want to say what. The, you see, it's a, a, actually it, it, uh, you can see it's on there for nineteen pound for the switcher to add it. It's, at most, it's going to be a tenner. Um, I'm probably going to be at cost. But, but look, as I said, I always over deliver. Let's wait and see. Um, so if you go on HDMI, then you can flick through the HDMI's. Yeah, and technically, there's five HDMI's with this inputs. But then when you go on to V, if you've got, if you're using the VGA control board at the back. 
um, then that uses the VGA input on the card, which means that the external VGA is not working when you're using that. So then you're switching between, well, you're not switching, it automatically does it internally. So you get the, the component or you might get the EGA CGA or you get the SCAR. Um, and of course, if you go, then, then if you've got something like a, an S video or you've got the RF, they'll be going through the HDMI inputs. So you kind of, we've kind of got it covered, um, but there's, we want to fine tune this stuff. Hence what I was saying about trying to, you know, we've made a great technical exercise. We now have to make a product and that's the difference. So, um, we want to make it as a, as a good, the trouble is at the moment is very good. We've got a lot of flexibility, especially in GPS control, a ton of flexibility, but it comes at a little bit of cost of difficulty. Um, not, not, it's not difficult, but if you log into it, you can control it. It's fantastic. All right. The RetroTech 5X has lovely scanline shadow mask emulation. That would be a benchmark for me, enhancing low resolutions on YouTube. Look, the reality, look, look, look um, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just not. Um, because, to be honest, uh, what people actually want is to be able to plug in and use them. Now, there are people who want to be able to simulate a CRT, and I understand that, you've got things like this. Why they don't still make this is really bloody annoying. It's one thing that does annoy me, because these are only about 60 pound, but you can't buy them, and you have to buy the pro version, and you don't care if all you want is this video. Right, so I find that annoying, but mine are 28 quid, right? And they look fantastic. If you look at the video, you'll see my um, Atari 800, looks great. Is it as good as the? Is it as good as this? No. Is it worth the hundred and twenty compared to twenty quid? No. <laughs> so it depends on what you prioritise. If you want your shadow masks and all that, I, look, I totally understand this. I, I, I honestly do. But if you look at the GPS control, it has in their scanline generation, and I think that over time they may improve on it and update it, and then you can update it you know, and give it the new functionality. Um, but it's, if you need that, you can you can buy the RetroTech 5X, it's fine. Um, but that's not what I'm aiming, I'm aiming this at car, supporting as many people with a broad diverse, like I said earlier, like if you've got an SGI and you can't get a monitor for it, I want this to be the monitor. If you've got a old Unix machine that won't run on VGA because it's sync on green or something like that, I want it to run on this monitor. So there's more than just low resolution gaming, all right? Um, but it, it, but uh, there's all retro areas are important, but none really more than another. Uh, will you have an option to have the display installed pre-shipping up? Yeah, well, yes, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in, test it, make sure it's all working and ship it. Yeah, it's, it, um, some people seem to be the idea that you have to buy your own panel. I can't. We can't be any clearer. The idea is that you 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 order everything except the panel, and then you choose your panel. You want me, me, to fit. <laughs> I fit it. I ship it. Right now, does that mean you can't put your own panel in? Okay, theoretically. No, you can order it without a panel. I'll still ship it, and you put your own panel in. Will it work? I don't know. I'm not guaranteeing it. I will say this: the driver software is designed for LVDS, uh, twelve eighty by ten twenty four, sixty hertz panels, and as long as they physically fit and it doesn't look stupid, because if you've got an eighteen point seven inch, it'll look stupid. You need to have a 19 inch, it needs to be the right because I'm making these um, bezels that fit our panels, it's really important. So, um, you know, yes, I mean, there's, there's potential there. So, um, uh, yeah, but I, I intend shipping with panels. Well, because I'm making, I've been making money on the panels as well. <laughs> Alexander. My, my cases are never going to go yellow. That sucks. 
<laughs> if you look at my um, my cases, they've got UV protection uh, in the the um, injection mold in fluid is UV protected, so it doesn't happen. IR remote control, even without remote, would be possible to control by IR blaster. No, that, that you don't, you're coming, it's coming with a, a remote control. Um, in fact, it might come with two, but it's actually really going to be one. We're trying to work. It's what I'm saying about product ties in it. Um, so it'll all be good. <laughs> well, Perifrat is too late. Um, I, I didn't contact him, um, really, to be fair, because... Uh, Oh, so I thought the thing is frozen. Um, I didn't contact him because, oh, what, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I do like the channel, actually. I really like the channel, but I kind of get the impression everything's about CRTs. and I I, I didn't think it was going to be for him. Uh, maybe I'm being unfair. Um but it's a lot of it, and he, he can't see it. So it's the, the monitor is one of these things. This is why I, I had to go. So the, this is why Peter had to see it. Peter had to actually look at it, pick it up, hold it in his hands, play with it, use it, see it running on all the different machines to really like it. You can't just film videos or rubbish like it. It can't. You have to... Now, you lot of base... Well, a lot of people are based on his experience with it, and that's crucial. Now, with perifractic, there's no way he can do that. He can't give that impression. So it would be unfair to him anyway. So that's why it's very difficult with this. Um, it's a bit like, you know, like if you're looking, if you've got a 1080p TV, you think you're going to a 4K TV, then you're watching all the adverts on TV for 4K, wonderful, this and the other. Well, you've got an old TV. <laughs> what are you going to tell? You know, you just, you just, you just can't tell. Uh, what is the timeline? When will the displays have to be locked down? It is actually in the, the Kickstarter lower down, but basically, April May is when my ordering system basically gets updated with all of the Kickstarter orders get thrown into it. Okay, I'll probably take the sales system offline. I've done this twice already, and so we just inject it all into the system and then. It would automatically you'll get you'll have an order and it will it will come up and then you might even get it to email you'd say change your password because you'll have a default password that will last for well it's a randomized default password and it will uh, then you can change the password you can go into it and then you can do your have your choices do I which panel do I now everyone I know I've had this I know I've got this budget panel don't buy the bloody budget panel don't get me wrong it actually looks really nice. It actually looks nice. It's it's fine. It's a T, but it's a bloody TN. Now I may actually you may find that I end up replacing it with a cheaper. I I, mean, I probably won't because the one I've got is pretty good. So I would ask everyone: don't even think about the TN. Get the IPS because it's the, it really is the best. And any angle, any angle, it is just the best. I had to just do something to show that I'm trying to get the costs down. To try and encourage people that that maybe saving that fifty dollars might help. The reality is, buy the bloody IPS. Now, if you've got a bigger budget and, or you've got a kidney to spare, then the Akuda one might be for you because if you, they their panels are around three hundred pounds ish, ish. Um, so let's see. I don't know. I don't. That's not a quote. That's not a quote on price. Um, but that's a ballpark, and you can go back and look. Oh, timeline, sorry. Um, yeah, so April, May is when, theoretically April, May, it, we'll see how it goes with the costs, you know, with, uh, with the Okuda boys and everyone else. Uh, but it should be about that timeline, it's no problem. And then you come in there, and then you select what one you want, sort your shipping costs out, and then uh, you pay, okay? You pay your balance. Once that's paid, I know the exact numbers to manufacture. I will over manufacture my parts, but I will manufacture them. And uh, we know what we've got to order, how many panels we've got to order, and etc. etc. How many bags we've got to get made because we then go out four months for the shipping. 
so that's why it's April, mate. But it is a little way off into the weeds. I know people are going to go, yeah, but I've got to put mildly then. Well, yeah. People, people are saying about it being the wrong time to do this. It's always the wrong time. It's never the right time for people to pay money. I know that. I'm saying. Electrons, not photons. Be correct. The electrons were controlled by X and Y electromagnets. Do the scan lines. Okay, I'm not going to argue that because Abby should probably know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's firing a beam of something. <laughs> right, and then doing that. Uh, will we be able to get both face plates and multiple displays? What the hell? I'm not sure what M. I'm not sure what you mean. What about both face plates and multiple displays? You get? Can you can you re-enter that question? Because I'm a bit confused on that one. Oh, where have I gone? There we go. Right. Uh yeah. M. Can you redo that question? Okay, cool. will displays be available to buy after Kickstarter also be delivered? If so, will the pricing be similar? Okay, now this is a really good question. <laughs> well, I'm going to be a mark. I'm going to be a salesman in there. But take it, do listen. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing I'm selling any after this. Right, you have to remember I'm. I'm 61 in a week. I by the time we ship, I'll be 62. Now, I, I'm personally, I plan on going on for doing this for a while, but um, it's no absolute guarantee that I'm going to do another batch. No, I, I will over order. There will be more because I'll be making more of the boxes and stuff. There will be some. But the reality is, the price may go up a little, depending on what. Remember I said earlier on, which if you wasn't listening, yeah, you know, uh, if depending on where, what I decide to make the product, it's complicated. You've seen some of it in Peter's video. It's how far I go and what I do with it. Um, it might be that I just go the whole hog in it, but the people after that, you can only buy the whole thing, which will inherently put the price up a bit. Um, and always what I found is after the Kickstarter my costs go up anyway so um, it will, it's going to be niche unless we get another manufacturer comes along and says let's take it over for you pay a license and this that and the other um, and then things might change no one's going to get any unless you're a backer you don't, no one's getting these unless they're a backer right and it'll be literally now I will, I'm probably going to have a, no I'm going to have a waiting list you can send in an email, I'll drop it into a folder, an email folder, and then if we make another batch, I'll send you an email. Um, what I suggest for people who don't want to buy it now, put a one pound um, reward, so you're on the Kickstarter. Yeah, so you can see all the updates. That'll make a lot of sense. <coughs> <laughs> he does like to go on about it, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 happy. So the control, so the controller is display specific. No, the controller is specific to a certain specification of panel. For example, my controller upstairs works with well, the the standard default drivers at the moment work with most of the panels I've got. 17 anything that's 12 80 10 24 right 60 hertz 50 60 hertz um it works with them uh but the 15 inch one it didn't it, uh, i had to have a complete new driver having said that what they do is they they seem to add it to the driver so um don't want you worry yourself about the drivers because it, but what where that comes difficult is if for example say you decide to buy the chassis only and put your own panel in the fact that your panel is 12 80 10 24 doesn't mean it's going to work be no guarantee that's your responsibility you but you could take your controller out and you could mount that in there 
use our power board to power it and do your own little jiggery pokery. I know that's probably what Appy would do. A mountain. Now bear in mind, 19 inch panels. Now what I might do is give the display area. I won't do that now, I'll do it later on. But I might give the actual display area, which is the key figure, because that's where the bezel comes around. And you don't want your panel being outside that or inside that because it's going to look stupid. Um, so uh, I, I've got nothing against people. I mean, I'll give you someone actually mentioned they got a lot of LG monitors. I've got about six. I've got a whole bunch of these LG monitors. That my, they're really nice. I, I think I think they're IPS as well. 19 inch. Um, I might take one out, whack it in once I've got a few of these spare just to see what it's like. Uh, but they're a lovely panel. So a lot of people probably got panels. Uh, maybe it's a way of getting them, getting it cheaper. Um, but if it doesn't work, it's very easy to find out. You just get a controller, plug it into your panel. Does it work? No, tough. <laughs> but if the cables connect up and it just doesn't recognize it, then th there, here's the theory. You send me the specification document and then we see if we can get the driver to support it. And uh, um, that would be something that, you know, we'll try. Can't promise it. Can't promise it. But we'll try. Because I want people to, I want people to, um, let me switch cameras. I want people to um, make the most of this. Uh, you should make a special nostalgia nerd monitor for. Yes, that is a really good point, Charles. I don't know if I can make a. I don't know if I can make a special. Um, I can't do a special color or anything like that because you can't do that. You run a production of monitors. You can't just run out. Um, that's a really good point. That because he deserves it. I mean, literally, this would not have happened. We we all know that. Um, all my efforts had kind of got us over halfway, got us to about sixty percent, but I think eighty was the most we'd have reached, and it would have been really disappointing. Um, but he's tipped it over, and it looks like we might even reach the big stretch goal. So yeah, that's a very good. I did consider. Did consider doing a clear one. What do you guys think about? Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna, because I think it'd be stupid, but I'm not. I did think maybe making a translucent one. Um, because when you first do them, if anyone of you bought those cases, oh, we can't see it again. If you look just there. <laughs> Um, my translucent A five hundred case. Uh, what they do is they make the case, they make the molds, and then they really, really, really polish them, and then they run a uh, uh, they run a batch off, but but clear, and they do it like translucent clear. But I, maybe we could take the Mickey out of Apple, do some translucent ones. <laughs> maybe a like a small run. I could do a very might I might I can't guarantee I might be able to do a very small run. But I do think he deserves something special. But I absolutely agree. I think using CRT may have its benefits, but maintaining a CRT we are more expensive. CRTs, CRTs really a keep the ones you got, keep maintain, look after them, get experts. Hopefully, the the guys who are repairing CRTs, please transfer that knowledge. Don't sit on it. Right. Because a lot of these guys are getting old. Transfer the knowledge, share the knowledge. I'm not saying I'm not. There's no names here, but there are some people who don't want to share the knowledge. Right, you need to share it. Is the option list still up to date, or will be something change its clearing prices? What will be in the device installer's option? Only the controller. Uh, okay, well, at least everything's on the Kickstarter, so you can see from. Bottom. The bottom pod is what you're going to get. That's it. But the other pods are options. What's the difference of the players? Two. Okay, right. I'll go for this again. Um, yeah, right. So for those obviously who've come along late, later, 
the 269 was the original price because I don't know if you're aware that probably two or three months ago when I did the final figures for the Kickstarter because I have a big spreadsheet and it, it calculates everything and um, my our currency had crashed against the dollar it was down to like 1.1.107 so I did. I actually worked the prices around 109 because I could not risk that. Anyway, as it happened, we recovered. Um, so I had it two. So originally, I wanted to do 239, right? Because when we was around, when I first started the project, it was with 136. And this is very important when over half the money's in paid in dollars, half the parts are paid in dollars. So um, I. Uh, I noticed that the pound was coming up again and my gut feeling was it got to 123 my gut feeling is it's probably going to stay there now because the government are going to that 109 was because of government stupidity they won't do that again um and so i think it was going to level off and what i wanted to do is reflect that in the costs so i adjusted all my prices based on the new exchange rate not 20 quid off the price so I did the top ones with two five nine. They're exactly the same. There is absolutely no difference. And if you if you see, it says, "Please watch the video." And if you go to the bottom, there's a, I don't know it's the bottom, but there's a video explaining it all. Um, but basically, it's exactly the same. But it's just twenty quid cheaper now. Everyone who paid two six nine has the had the option to switch. But all it means is they get twenty pound left over when they when they when their monitor's paid for, they've got 20 quid sitting there and it'll pay for the shipping. Well, no, it might. It might pay for the shipping. But it can go towards the extras. Ah, uh, just 20 quid less. That price change happened up. Oh, okay, so everyone's answering this for me. Are you going to be hand building the monitor by yourself or will you help? Okay, look, so at the moment, it's... Do you know, it's one of those, it's, at the moment, it's going to be me, but look, I can't, I don't, I don't want to say yet because... There's certain things going on in the background, and Happy doesn't know. There's certain things going on in the background. Um, you know, may change the things. The, all the things change. The, at the moment, the plan is still contain a full container turns up with all the parts, and I spend the next two months assembling, testing, and shipping them out. It is more work because because it's not. This is a complete working product, so they have to be tested and soap tested. So I'd have to have a rack and like 50 of them set up kind of thing make up 50 plug them all in test them leave them overnight make sure they're still working next day and if they are then ship them out um but yeah that's that's uh, still but, uh, now the other thing about getting somebody to help um probably not because i always have this fear well for one thing let's be honest the uh, the thing for this is to pay my bills but more to the point, not a case of not wanting to share it. It's more a case of I don't want to give someone a job and then take that one away. That's the reality. I just don't want to do that. If if it if it grows to a next level, then of course I can't continue. I've got to. I'll have to. You know, probably get some some people who like retired start. You know, come if you want to come and work a day a week or something like that. You know, that kind of thing. Some people who have got like a real interest uh, and want to earn some money. Will this now come with a colour printed man? Go on. Uh, will this come with a colour printed manual? No. Um, they cost a tenner. So each one of these costs ten pound. Now I am do what I'm going to do is you now if you've got one of my products, you'll notice that in this, which has been improved for the mini. Okay, but now this is the default manual for both my products, both my cases, right? And because it's actually got, it's got, well, you can't see that. It's actually got both cases, the manual for both cases in there. But I'm going to add it to this manual. And uh, it's going to be in the, so, so basically it'll help cross promote, but also it's that nice thick thing that you can open and, you're not going to get it as standard. Um, I, uh, what I may end up doing is saying if it may be a cost, you know, I may put it as an optional extra, literally the cost price. 
I can't I can't put it in for free because there's just not the margin. If you've looked at the figures and looked at that chart, you'll see I can't lose ten percent. Uh, sorry, ten pound is going to be quite a lot um, to take off of that. So um, you I can't. Um, you know, uh, people think it's an expensive product, but it's an expensive to make. So um, but there will be the, there will be the PDFs and more than likely an option to pay the cost because one of the things is it's actually really nice in color right but i've got to do another batch of these for my cases and they're going to be black and white internally they're going to be black and white because it's the difference between 10 quid or 10 pound 50 and 6 pound 50. it's a lot of money so um when you're buying a lot of them um so that's kind of important uh but yeah i may do it as a like a color one and you pay the literally the cost of it uh, because it's not like i won't make money on the manual because i buy I get them there but i can't include it for free nice that fassy's here hi fassy fassy I tell you how shy i am uh i bought your case and love it can't afford to buy the screen right now would love four of them yeah <laughs> i had the feeling i always kickstart products projects on friday evenings after some beers it's a smart move to end this on a weekend yeah i mean like, uh, you know it was uh, look, no time for doing this was a good time <laughs> none because if i'd done it if i'd launched it in september it would be end in october and everyone's going to say well you know about the cost of living in october the bills are going to be yeah no or if i do it in, in in march april next year or if i do it in january when a lot of people say to me can you do it in january Yes, because they are spent all money at Christmas. Or if you do it in like March, I'm saving up to go on holiday. There's never a good time. Um, well, let me just, I'm just gonna. Um, yeah, I love the idea that the C128 high column mode be supported all in one box. You can thank Abby for that. Uh, as Steve says, the 8 column mode is supported by, yeah, it looks great. <laughs> it does look great. <laughs> but Abby is an absolute fiend for the 128. Uh, after the Kickstart orders ship, will you sell the base case for that panel? I'd like to paint one. Um. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm not one bombing because I have loads. Um, oh, you have to excuse me. Something's bitten me. I'm flipping itching my ankle. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, the only thing is shipping. If you're in the UK, it's fine. But shipping these because it's volume. If you're somewhere that's more than like, if you if it's going across water, you're buggered. Bluetooth or IR? Infrared. Um, looking forward to seeing money. I always misplace remotes. Will there be a button to cycle? For? Okay, yeah. All right, let's answer that. So um, if you lose your remote, you can always order another one. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure I've got spares and we can ship them out to you. Um, but there will be buttons. If you've noticed at the bottom, there's a whole lot of buttons, five buttons. Is it a bugger to use? And <laughs> it is a sod. <laughs> you want to cut your wrists. But yes, you can. It's like most monitors. You've got the buttons on the front. I, whether I'm going to put little marks on it in the tooling, I don't know yet. I did think about um, screen printing, but it's going to cost too much. It adds about 15, 20 pounds to a unit. So probably not. Might do it in the mould. Um, but yeah, so the, um, the, the buttons will do everything. Well, no, the buttons will do everything you want to do. Um, but the, the remote gets you to there really quick. Uh, this isn't the CRT product and having grown up in that era, I'm happy about that. To me, this is about one monitor or more. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I often wonder if the people, I always think, if the people who love CRT so bloody much, did they live through them? <laughs> or if they did, they were just games players. <laughs> you know, look, 
<laughs> it kind of bugs me. They really like the CRTs for the bloody two, those low, re really low resolution games. Um, I mean, I get it. I totally understand. And as I said, I've got loads. But they love them for that reason. Whereas back at, you know, I would have just killed for this monitor. You know, I would have killed for something worse than this. Um, you know, so uh, CRTs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I get the latency thing if you if you really can tell the difference between a sixtieth of a second. Um, I'm happy about. <laughs> As someone who likes to tinker on old machines, I like the idea of using this to test them rather than hunting around to find which money works well with it. Yeah, that that's the aim. Um, I, I think uh, okay so here's the thing I think if you don't put a mister in it or don't put a pie in it and you've got all three pods spare you pretty much will be able to you're pretty much going to be covered because it's, you have so much input because in that top one you'd be able to put your RF and your S video um, so yeah I think uh, I think that's going to be uh, uh, be pretty, pretty but then again people can say well that's you know for example they might have um, well that is another thought right the great thing about this is you can just slap in pods so you could if you if you if you're if you're, if you're you want it around the around the, your workshop right and you slap in all these lots of different pods you got all the inputs everywhere right but you want to go out to um somewhere and you want to show off your your mister take one of them out slap in the mister screen take that with you it's just instantly configurable that's the that's the point. You can change it for whatever you want to do, and just keep the pods in the cupboard. Maybe we should make a special cupboard for pods. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm. I keep this thing keeps jumping. So. Um, We'll be able to buy empty blank back ports. Yes. Um, so you, I'm going to release again. I'm going to release all the designs. Um, so if you want to, you know, make your own and so on. Uh, the but the, yes, you will be able to. I mean, you'll get two with it, obviously. Um, but the um, uh, you will be able to get spares if you want spares. <laughs> Cameron, I mean, yeah, be late to the game, but just in time. Uh, it's it's funny. It's just we, we I I got the word out as best I could, but I can't cover everyone, and because a lot of the channels just didn't want to know. I don't know why. Um, it's been a bit tricky. Uh, can you tell a little about the audio part? I know it's more about pictures in the monitor but going. No, no, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, of course I can. So if you, well, hopefully you've watched the bloody video. Like if you go to the Kickstarter, go. There's a whole video on audio. Okay, there's a the proper video on it. In fact, let me just show you. Oh, it's over here. Look, if you scroll down, here you go. Sound test. So go on there and have a watch that video uh, and it will explain. Uh, so apart from that, I don't know what else I'm going to answer because I'll just be repeating myself. But there is quite a bit of information in there. The sound is, um, I, okay, I'm not American, so I don't go, it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, if you think it's going to be hi-fi, don't be silly. If, you, if you've got a 1084, it's way better than that. If you've got um, a monitor downstairs, like your TV monitor, it's better than that. So it's kind of a mix. It's kind of a... Um, the, the speakers were recommended to me by... And it's very embarrassing. Again, I should have written his name down. By a really nice guy. Because uh, he saw I was having trouble choosing speakers. So I bought a whole load. And I was I was schooling myself on the, uh, speakers. It's really complex. Um... But, uh, and he recommended these German ones and they're fantastic. And um, whilst I did have a pair that sounded clean, slightly cleaner, they were five times the price. Um, they didn't have the bass, 
Um, but these ones were really good price based, performance based on but no quality. But everyone who sees them loves them. We always have to turn the buggers down because they're too loud. Um, so actually, they're, they are, now, now if you watch the video, you'll see that at the end I play some Mozart because it's got it's got the frequency ranges. So watch that, um, and that'll probably answer your question on the audio. It, it's good. It, it's good. It's more than good enough. I, th I believe more than good enough for games because it does classical music lovely. But then when I turn on my my main speakers with the bass and. I mean, it doesn't compete, obviously. But it's so much better than my TV downstairs. Max the resolution 1280, 1024. There you go. It's in the Kickstarter. If you eventually stop producing these monitors, do you tend to still keep developing or supporting various pods for it? Or are you hoping the community... Right, I guess a very good question. From Starius, as always. So, as always, as always, I'll release all the designs. Uh, so that people can build for it. I know you risk then people stealing it and going off and making it. And I cover that bridge when I come to it. But it makes life a lot easier for people when you're, if you want to build something, uh, it does make life a lot easier. Um, forgive me if I keep looking down it. I, yeah. um, so um, if I stop making them at some point, I mean, I'm still making the cases. Um, but. Uh, I'm hoping obviously the community will take it on because look, look, remember I'm 62 this year in about a week. I'm 62, so um, you know, I'm, look, look, don't get me wrong. I don't intend to retire until 65. I'm gonna probably be like him, and I'll keep working till I'm about 75, 80. I've no intention of giving up because I've still got things I want to do. So um, I do actually still like the idea of being a computer company um and having that amiga brand <laughs> maybe i played the long game which is <laughs> this is a really long game i've always wanted to build the amigas but um <laughs> we'll see um right uh i'm hoping the, the community is gonna do it I mean, it makes sense i can't do everything well, how can I do it? And even if Happy works miracles, we can't do everything. <laughs> Happy backed it for a tenner. <laughs> how are the mono sources like a C64 handled? Just use one channel. Is there a way to connect more than one audio? Oh, oh, oh audio. Uh, okay. Uh, I th think Happy might answer this. Because... It's a good, it is a good question. I think he splits them out. Into, oh, Jesus Christ. I think Happy splits. I'm, I've been bitten. <laughs> I think Happy, I think if you put a mono signal, I think. Nada. That's a good question. Good question. Uh, which maybe Happy can put the answer. Um, because I would have thought it's a. We can't just say, oh, we'll split it across. Uh, unless Happy can test, check if there's no signal on the other one. And then share them. Um, good question. Very good question. I don't know an answer. Happy might put it in the chat. Uh, wasn't the Arcuda 1600 1200? The one they had originally, the 20.1 20, 20. inch, was a 1600 by 1200. But if you play the game like I said the other day, go to panellook.com, search for a 1600 by 1200 inch. Good luck. Um, it's that problem of it's okay saying I want that doesn't mean you're gonna get it uh, now what the I think as I said the key secret source for the Arcuda I don't believe is the resolution uh, to me it's the controller they have a very low latency controller it's all about the controller so that's a, that's a good thing They are three hundred dollars. Yeah, it's um. As I said, it is a, to me. I, I'm I'm and I could be wrong about this on the Okuda. I do believe it's about the. It's about the controller that they've got, 
and picking a panel with a really low um, refresh rate. So my TN panel actually, <laughs> ironically, is like a three millisecond, between two to four millisecond refresh rate. Um, that's the crucial bit. That's how quick it updates the screen. So they want a panel that can do it in like one millisecond because if their controller is one millisecond latency, they need a panel that does the same thing. That's why it's very hard to find them. Um, but, uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but it's something I personally think if we, well, to be fair, my panels are 14 millisecond latency. So the fact of my, my controllers are probably 15 milliseconds, my, uh, it doesn't matter, does it? So my panel will be no good for the Akuna because the panel can't keep up with it. Uh, M, I saw, I saw now the 17 inch bezel, what I called faceplate was a stretch goal, but could we get both bezels and two displays if we reach that goal? Two. Yes, of course. Um, if, um, if we reach the stretch goal, I don't think we've got time for it. If we reach the stretch goal, I, my plan originally was that I would open up a 17 inch one, you could switch. Because it doesn't really matter, because in April, May, you could change anyway. Um, it wouldn't make any difference. But if I, it's a long way off, it's 369. I, I'd be surprised if we got there. Now, don't think that means it's not happening, okay? But it is $20,000 to make the bloody, you know? It's just the tooling to spit something out that's got so little material in it. It's ridiculous. Um, but it is it is quite expensive, and that, that does need the stretch car. Uh, but you could do what you like. You can have one of each. You could, I mean, you can order two. You could even, if you have one panel, and then just, oh, I'm fed up with that. I'll swap that off and put a 17-inch bezel. Put a 17-inch panel in it. You know, you can swap it out later on. I'm not sure what the 8-bit planes, the bit planes person, like a prison TV. I have no idea what you mean there. So I've, so I've missed that. Let's go. Translucent is better than clear. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I kind of think it'd be ironic and funny. Do you think they'd sue me? If I, if I did a, a like a pale blue iMac look, do you think they'd try and sue me? <laughs> the irony would be thick. Um, but it might be quite good fun because I like the idea of it because I don't know about the bezel at the front. I think it might work with black if you did the front bezel black and then the back was translucent because inside you've got that metal chassis. But I don't know if the inside is interesting enough. I mean, I don't think it's interesting enough. Um, and then because you've got the metal down the side, so you can't, unless you're looking from the rear, you can't see, I don't think it would actually, you wouldn't really see anything, so I'm not, I don't think it would be worth having a translucent one. It's not like with the iPads, uh, sorry, with the iMacs, where you could uh, actually see inside and see the screen and see the board. It's all kind of disguised. Uh, I, I, I'm, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's as interesting. It's a panel. <laughs> It's not that interesting. It's just a flat panel in there, you know. I don't think it'd be that. Uh, translucent clear is cool. Reminds me of laptop and hackers. Atomic purple translucent SNES case came out recently. Smoke tinted plastics. 80 stuff. Yeah, I mean, it'd be, it's a nice thought. I just wonder if the internals might actually be too boring. Maybe a commemorative badge for the backers on no I, I, I think no I don't I think um, I tend to put on the boxes kickstarter bags um, uh, but I'll, I'll think of something appropriate uh, will the monitor be able to support the native 23 pin immediate RGB connectivity rather than needing a 20 no just get a SCART cable it's a tenner I'm not making a 23 to 23. No, buy a SCART cable. Don't be tight. It's a tenner. 
Um, yeah, I, um, I've got a, a 1081 in that's dead. Although, to be fair, I thought the guy um, stopped doing it, but he was ill. So, uh, I, I do know, I do know a guy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think everyone's going to lay into that question about the 23 cable oh god Bill look the, um, the, you don't want that um, I, know, I know in the old days because they used to have it, the 1084s used to have a 23 Amiga to nine pin but i can i can do you a custom cable if you like for like 30 quid or you can buy a scart one for like 12.99 i mean it's as simple as that have a thought about a front glass option i have an arcade machine that i put ips panel in it a dark tinted piece of glass in front of that really helps with the contrast um it's been mentioned about putting glass in there. The problem with that is obviously a cost because people are already complained about the cost and the benefit. I personally see no benefit, um, but I can understand the, maybe the reason for it. I can understand that, but um, I, 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 you know, maybe we can do later on, do a different bezel that comes back away a bit and put glass behind it as a later thing but i have to just ship good products at the moment and i think that's just that's just something that has to be put in pushed into the weeds interest rates go up again in january there will always be something else yeah i know will you be making an s video card with rgb beards what What's an S video card with RGB? No, I uh, like said that we've got um, uh, we've got uh, an S video adapter. It's about twenty eight quid, something like that. But that's an S video cable. Do you want me to work on some translucent, transparent renders? No. What's the? There is absolutely no point because you don't have the internals to see. So, no, not really. It's not. I don't think it's worth it. Because my 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 thought on that is, you're gonna look around and you're not gonna see anything. The iMac was brilliant because you could see the tube and you could see the board and you could see everything in there. You can get to it, but you could see everything. Whereas there's nothing interesting in it. I mean, you got the pods, but then the sides are metal. It's not designed to look into, and if you look into it, I, I don't know whether, because I can't make the pod trays translucent, they have to be metal. So when you look from the back, you can't see anything. You look above, you'll see the top one, but it, I don't think it's going to be interesting enough. Would a Vampire V4 standalone fit in a pod? I don't see any reason why not. Whether it will go lengthways, it might turn have to turn around with more cables, but I don't. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't have one, so, and I'm not buying one to test it. Um, but I'm sure someone can loan me one, and then we can find out. But just look, the long as the dimensions, I think it's a hundred millimeter depth is as far in as you can go. So I, th I think it'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lee. Yeah. Are we going to end up with thumb screws for pods? My, mine all have thumb screws. So, um, yes, I, I mean, you don't have to. You can just screw it. I mean, I, I like the thumb screws. They're actually quite nice. Um, so, more than likely, be thumb screws. The only thing on that will stop that, because they do cost more money, the only thing that will stop that is if certain things. I I prioritise the money for something else. Um, but more than likely. Will there be a headphone socket? Yes. Um, Appy's already got that in the um, plans. 
uh, where it is, I think it's going to be in the side. I've got to put a oh, mount hole. <laughs> Thank you, Fergal. Epsilon, hello. We really have six kickstart going on. So am I. Can the Arcuda be driven higher than 60 hertz? I don't know. Um, I actually don't know. I think, to be honest, I think my panel can go 75 hertz. Just because I say 60 doesn't mean it can't go higher. I, I think it can go 75, but I, I, I'm not. I quote 60 and 50. I, what are you drinking? I'll buy you a crate. No need to buy it, right? Old crafty hen. Uh, man, this will go what my voice is going. Uh, you've ordered a checkmate case. I ordered with my A500 board. Excellent. Oh, I'm pleased about that. They do look really wicked. <laughs> Sitting them on top of that, they do look fantastic. Would three monitors realistically be overkill? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. One for another. Um, no, one monitor would be fine for probably all that lot. Damn. Just because you can have all the inputs. A sound mixer pod would be nice. We can mix a mega CD from audio with 1200 pod. Maybe. Side firing monitoring speakers should at least be very faithful to the original Commodore Amiga sound with hard pan channels. No. <laughs> I want the side firing bodies to be light years ahead of the silly Commodore. Those monitors, those speakers in the monitors were rubbish. They, they, they're okay, but like, to be honest, that they... No, no, I don't want it to be anything like them. I, mean, I got an, um, well, actually, to be fair, my 1084S sounds reasonable. My 1084ST is terrible. Um, mine sounds light years better, so I'm not even bothering with that. My, my, mine sound way better. Uh, I don't want to plug and unplug all the time. Okay, so unplug, plug. That depends where we're talking about, right? Um, because you can leave some of them connected all the time, but some you can't. So, for example, if you want to use the VGA input, but you want to use, you want to leave everything plugged in and turned in on the GBS board, the GBS takes priority and disables the external VGA. So you lose that external VGA. Yeah, you need to disconnect it. So there's certain limitations we have to, you know, because you can't be firing the signals in. It's uh, I'm I'm guess if you've not got it connected, or sorry, if you've not got it turned on, you'll be okay. But certain things, for example, the comp composites, the components, and that on the base one aren't affected. You switch between them as much as you like, connect them all up, it's all good. But some of the others, they they you you know you you can. So basically, if you put the RGB SCART pod in. It just, you can't plug into the VGA on the standard connector. Um, everything else is fine, just the standard VGA connector. So just be aware of it. 62 is still young, dude. I know, right? I don't intend giving up. Okay, UberDude25, you just got a 10% discount. I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> um, oh, God. You can tell I'm, this chat's going on forever, can't you? Every half hour, my camera turns itself off. Thank you very much. Um, I thought you were in your mid-50s, which is a shame because people, a couple of years ago, people thought I was in my mid-40s. So yeah, I'm also getting a bit creaky. If you look at the eyes. Uh... Um, will they go on sale after Kickstarter? Also, I think you should number the Kickstarter monitors as sign, sign them, no. <laughs> even though I didn't get there in time. Um, no, I don't like doing that. Um, I, I probably will put the same message I put in my other products. Um, so I, I, my last two cases, I put J Miner's name. I may do it again. Um, but mainly because he's the one engineer that I think um, my 
my favourite engineer, period. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> As I said, <laughs> hopefully you didn't get that. <coughs> Let's refresh this page, shall we? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I wonder why it was sat there at 2.45. I think if we hang on there for a little while, that's going to be that's going to reach the first stretch goal. Look at that, 927 backers. Right. I think I'm going to wind this down now. Uh, will they go? Okay, Neil. Uh, will they go and sign off the Kickstarter? Also, I think you should number the kick. Okay, I'm not going. To, I don't really want to number them. <clears throat> I don't like signing my own products. Um, I'm just weird like that. People ask me that all the time. Why don't you put name in it? I don't. Um, I'm English. Um, if it was a team of big team of us, maybe, but. Um, I'm just funny about that. I'd rather put something else's name in there. Maybe we can stick Appy's name in there. I'd like it. Appy was here. <laughs> <clears throat> it would be great if you were to put signatures that Vol part is that develop it into some of the case. I'm sure that was done before. Yeah, I know. I mean, give it some thought. I'm, as I said, I'm, I, I, I'm not. I'm English. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just English. Will the panels have any sort of warranty? Well, yes. If they go wrong, I'll replace it. Um, I mean, it'll be the usual. It'll be a year. Um, uh, we'll have to see. I mean, you know, it's the usual things with this this kind of stuff. Um, you know, I'll guarantee them for a year if they go wrong. Um, the good thing about this is that the 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 bulk of the cost is the chassis. Well, that's not going to go wrong. It's just chassis. If the other bits go wrong um, and say I drop dead, <laughs> no one picks it up, you can probably just replace it, put a new controller in, just order a controller, you, there'll be ways of doing it. And I'm sure other people, because it's going to be a lot of these shipping, there'll hopefully be a market that will grow around it. Um, so if anything happens to me. Um, but look, as far as I'm concerned, I'll su I, I support my products now. I've got people, um, the LED don't work. I send them a new one. You know, so that, that if you know, uh, the warranty is going to be a year. I mean, the, the usual warranty is a year. Uh, I'll obviously support them for a year, um, and then go forward. We'll, we'll, we'll see. When the Kickstarter comes for, having said that, I, I can't see these things going wrong. So, when the Kickstarter comes for you, me, your computer comes. <laughs> yeah, maybe, 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 Alicia. Um, it's quite a lot of questions. I'm going to go through. Are the speakers enclosed so the channels are isolated from cross mixing? Okay, right. That's a really good question. Someone's actually asked a really good question, right? So, um, as it stands at the moment, the you'd have to what, see this. So, if you look at this, this when this builds up, see the speakers go in here, and then the chassis goes in. Yeah, so it kind of closes it in, and then on the side of the metalwork, there's going to be foam which will absorb it, but it's not. It's not at the moment completely sealed off. So there is potential that I'm, I'm, I'm... At the moment, they sound great anyway, okay? Ideally, what I'd like is a sound engineer to, to chat with a sound engineer to see what they if they've got any suggestions. But I found it sounds really good anyway. Just by putting the sound deadening material, it absorbs any frequencies that are coming up. Now, there might be, if you've seen this, a little bit over the top and a little bit underneath. So theoretically, and you can see the speaker there, but that'd be sound dampening material down the sides, but not completely sealed. Okay. Um, now I also understand that if you have a little bit of a hole, you can get the bass come in that kind of thing. But um, look, they're they're 
they sound, I think, good. I, I don't want. I don't want to say they sound amazing because, as I said, I'm not American. So, um, they sound good. Are they going to be as good as your hi-fi? Don't be silly. No, not in a million years. Do they sound better than 1084? Light years ahead. Do they sound better than my TV downstairs? Way better. Um, so I, th I think I've got a reasonable solution for this. Um, I'm, and I'm pleased. Um, but I, if, if we've got someone who wants to, who's a, a speaker engineer, I'm, I'm always looking here. I always forget. If we've got someone that's a speaker engineer, that designs speakers and wants to talk to me and get on a Skype chat. Hey, we've just passed our stretch goal. If someone wants to come on and um, advise me on this and give me some help with this, and, um, then I'm, I'm all ears because as I said, I always over try to over deliver what I promised initially. Um, and um, I'm more than happy to talk because it'll just make the product better. That was for Greg, by the way. Already waiting for a future part. Oh, give us a break. <laughs> I don't think I was going to do a keyboard and mouse, but the mouse has already been done by uh, Lucas. And um, looks like we're getting the keyboard soon from Philippe and A1200.net. Um, that's what it needs, otherwise it looks flat. I would need to add details to the pods. No, look, Paul, for, forget it, because it's stupid. There's nothing of interest to look at. This is the problem. I, I thought about this a while back, and I like the idea, but there's nothing to see that's interesting. It's boring. Literally nothing that you can actually see, because... You can't see through it because I've got the sound deadening material covering. You can't see. All you'll be able to see is the top board. I think it's actually a bad idea. I mean, I like the idea, but there's nothing interesting to see. <laughs> He's quite happy for you to buy him some beer. Can you switch between multiple inputs from the front of the monitor so I can hook up multiple machines to it? Yes. Yeah, because the buttons do it. You just press on the buttons. It's one of those things where you, if you use a remote controller, you forget what the buttons are. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's like, you know, like with a lot of these monitors, the, the buttons on the front will be no different to a normal monitor. It'll be bloody annoying, right? <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be doing your editing. What button was it? Oh, God's sake. Paul, the problem is, right, there's nothing to see inside. I want to be a Will your next project after the monitor be a smaller scale project? Why? Why am I going to do another project? <laughs> Why is everyone waiting for the next project? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll go like Sinclair and design a car. <laughs> a retro car. A Sinclair C5, C6. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> no. I have to do things that I want. I, I can't actually, to be honest. Do I want to be No, actually, that's not true. No. That's what I want to make. Uh, let's get my hand out of the way. Now, unless it, you really have to be a bit of an Amiga fan to know what that is. And don't say it's an Amiga 2000 keyboard. So it's a Cherry MX Amiga 2000 keyboard. I paid like nearly 200 quid for it. And it's beautiful. It's got Cherry MX, ch Cherry switches. And I'd like to make a new version of that but with a little bit of the 3000 
design on the top, just the lines maybe. So it'll go well with the monitor and then maybe a, a mouse. I know that um, we've already got that really nice mouse, but that's not a 3000 mouse. I'd like to do a 3000 mouse, uh, the, the pregnant mouse, because I bet it need to have that. <laughs> I don't know, but like, you know, like, hopefully other people are going to do it. I thought, now, the tower case. Look, I'll tell you what. Yeah, now, now the challenge. If I can call it an Amiga, then I might make a tower. But if I can't call it an Amiga, there's your challenge. Um, full tower, dual system case, smell sideways. <laughs> Yeah, I'd want to put the Amiga brand on it. I, I've actually got, and a, and a, and a lot of you are going to go, what, really? I've already got the concept of a complete Amiga tower in here. It's already in here. <laughs> um, but it's not the time. It's not, it isn't the time for the tower. Um, I, I want the brand. <laughs> it's, it's not, this is, this is, it takes a lot of work, this. And there's some certain things in it they're going to cost a lot of money and it will be a really expensive case. Um, but it would need the brand. You need to sell it as a complete system. It would be cheaper than the next 5,000, but it'll, <laughs> it will be, um, uh, it needs to, you know, it needs to be, I just want to put the brand on it. If, if I ever got the brand, then I might well do it. Um, full time, I have a, Full blister and analog version, Mister. Could your slot accommodate that? Yes. Look at the Kickstarter. Scroll down. There's a picture of it. God. Did you watch it? Did you watch the video? <laughs> I get this all the time. Yes. It takes a full stack. This whole thing fits in one pod. Yeah, thank you, Alexander. He's a bit, a bit delayed on the good, but I, I thank you very much. <coughs> we still need a CD twelve hundred recreation. No. No, uh, interestingly, on the C four thousand T case front, I have that's what's in here. A new version. <laughs> but harking back to the three thousand and the four thousand. How does the optional five-way switch model work? You'll find out. Daft question, are you planning on including Mr. Arpai with the fitting kits? I assume they're just caddies. Yes, it's in the Kickstarter. Scroll down, you'll see pictures of the, the, the pods. We need Happy Wizard here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Happy Wizard stickers. Content one. Well um just locked in my pledge. Well done, thank you. Um, can you test the monitor on the PlayStation 2 component? But I didn't know I had it. Uh, and will over scan modes, borders. As someone's mentioned to me about over scan modes, I can't see any reason why not because we displayed the full thing. I don't think it'd be an issue. What I'm more interested in is the over scan with the VGA um, because I'm losing the because I'm only I'm losing 80 lines at the bottom. I can get 640 by 200. Looks fantastic, but I'm missing that bit at the bottom. So I'm gonna look in. You know, again, all of this and over time, we'll just go for it all. Am I gonna sleep tonight? What with COVID? Probably not. <laughs> uh, 200, yeah, I know, 240, 250 now. Look at that. If you do the 100 pound deposit, can you order multiple monitors in April? Yes. Yeah, yes, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, because it'll be April, May, so I'll know what you need. Because the whole point of April, May, design's done, everything's ready to go. When it's now time to manufacture. How many do I manufacture and how many parts do I order? We do the April, May. Once we've got all them in, 
bang, then we, we go out, we sit, and that's the point when I start the production going for all the parts and everything, so we know we've got the right figures, so we don't make too many black cases and instead of white cases, do you see what I mean? So that's why that's very, I've done this before twice, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, and it worked very well last time, and it all worked as well. But the answer is, stick 100 quid, you will get your monitors. If you don't, you've got to wait to the end. And I'm not probably going to do them, obviously, because I'm trying to make a business. Right? And I, I have visions of growing, not massive, but, you know, a growing business. Just out happy everywhere. <laughs> we all love happy. <laughs> yeah. You know, the translucent case will really show off all those happy stickers blasted on the inside of the monitor. Genius. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, someone's asked the same question again. What's the difference between 269 and 249? I can't see the difference. If you pay 269, you silly. <laughs> the two, I can't go through this again. Um, look, pay the 249, doesn't matter. All right, it's just we, because of the exchange rate, I dropped the price. Anyone who paid two six nine gets twenty pound left over towards the shipping. It's simple as that. Uh, C fifteen hundred. No. Uh, next project: Mini Amiga five hundred. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, stop doing this. Um, I said, keeps jumping. Um. Model is the boss, custom keyboards. Oh, checkmate keyboard and mouse sounds amazing. Yeah. I mean, it would be um, if I do, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I'm not bigging myself up here, but if I do it, I'll do it properly. So if I'm making one, I already actually got a, a, a manufacturer interested, um, but the, they, I, I was going to sell them a, a, a non working 2000 keyboard for them to make a board with the cherry switches, and, and then I did the tooling. Um, problem is, it's different to this one, so I'll be a bit concerned about that. Uh, but I want it to be as close to this version as possible because to me it's just beautiful. It's the best Amiga keyboard ever. No Amiga keyboard in the history of time is as good as mine. I don't know how many they sold. I, I don't listen. <laughs> Cherry switches. It's just gorgeous. I love it, and I'd like to reproduce that. Um, but yeah, right. Uh, where are we now? Let me just do a quick refresh on that because that doesn't seem to be going up. No, no, it's just not going up. <laughs> okay. Uh, gain the rights for a million. No, it's not as simple as that. If it was, Trevor would have bought it. Um, so I'm losing. Um, how do I connect to C64S video, please? You need to one of my little. Right, we do a, If you look in again, look in the video. Go down. There's an S video section. But you'll notice one of the pods we've got a pod and we've got our own little s video adapter card it's about 28 quid the adapter's probably about a tenner and so you i think oh, did i put it 39 pound or something like that and basically it's a pod and you put it in there and you plug it in connect it to the hdmi or you can do it with a retro tank 130 dollars or pounds or whatever and it would have a fitting kit so i didn't see that happening too. I'd pay it for a Sinclair C6, yeah. <laughs> no, do you know the really funny thing? I remember when they came out, I went to the launch event in Alexandra Palace. I've got to stop looking at a bloody... Does that make me a narcissist? <laughs> um, I went to the Alexandra Palace launch for the C5. 
And what they did, like, because they got this massive hall, and they put this thing round in the middle, like a, so that you went round in a circle. And we was all on these C5s, and I went with my dad, and we actually thought it was brilliant. We were like, these are fantastic. Didn't buy one because they, they, they you know, they were, they were quite expensive. We thought, I can't afford one of them. I did not buy one of them. But I seen the pictures of people going along the roads in them, like with lorries going by. Sod that. No chance. You know what? He was completely on the, he, he was right, but he completely got it wrong. You just, it made no sense. It was a, it was a, Brilliant concept, a stupid product. I mean, that's the, that's the trouble. And I love the Z5 because it is so weird. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was a fan. The concept was great. It would have been great as a concept, but not as a product. It needed to be, you know, bigger, and, and then the motors wouldn't do it. So it, it, I, I, it was fantastic. It's a typical English thing, isn't it? Oh. Uh, color code is black. What color code is a black monitor? Good question. It's black. <laughs> I don't think there's a color code for it. I didn't see it. Face is there an RGB option via BNC? Not Scott. It's just we got. I mean, there's not. There's, oh, I see. What you're there's. There's not. Um, there's not. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, no. Um, I'll ask Appy later. I think it's more trouble than it's worth having a BNC. I know what you mean. You want RGB, but then you need one for sync. Or you could just put a SCAR plug in it. Because most people are going to have SCAR. I mean, are we gonna, is it going to cost more money to do all that than it would be if you just buy bloody SCAR lead? <laughs> Home Computer Museum has a working C5, yeah. You get them on the seaside. If you go down in England, if you go to the seaside, they rent them out. You have a lot of vision to put the drink down. <laughs> Any issues with American power on this? I would guess no. No, 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 no. It's an auto, it'll be an auto-switching one as well. It'll be fine. Sorry for making you explain. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. But I get this. You know, you kind of... Again, it's, it's in the Kickstarter. But people read the top... They watch the video. Sorry, I have to just go on a bit. Um, they watch the the, kicks, the video and then they read the title and then they, they don't, don't go any further. <laughs> and then the ones that... If I, if I just didn't bother putting all that extra in, people would know there's nothing in there, no information. I think if we missed her up on this rig, we can add some awesome scan lines. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, we'll see what we can do. Um, look, as I said, we have to get this on the market and then we can work with it. Um, we want to build a great product that you can work with. I'm in Poland, I'm in Portugal and I don't have a credit card. Can I play, pay with PayPal or bank transfer? I love your monitor. Well, I suggest you, do, I don't take PayPal. PayPal sucks for business. But what I will do, if you pay, if you do the reward for the hundred pounds, okay, do the hundred pound one, you can do a bank transfer for the balance, that's fine. I already have the SCAR cable, it's nostalgia. Screw nostalgia. <laughs> I'm gonna use the SCAR cable. <laughs> I get it though, because you know, but we may cross it we may have to cross this bridge with the uh have we got a load more? It's bad enough. Uh, I'm in Portugal and don't have a credit card in my PayPal. It's a default for the utility panel, a blank pay. That's a good question. That is a good question. So this depends on how much room I've got on the tall-in. Um, there will be a blank. Um, but I would like to be able to do two or three. So they're 
at all, but I don't know yet. This all depends because obviously I've got to, I've got a massive tool. It's gonna one's gonna push the whole rear panel, and that's all it's doing. Stunk. <laughs> and the other one, hopefully, is gonna push out all the other bits, and so we have to be careful what we've got in it. What does a ZX81 look like on this? Pretty much like a ZX81 looks like on a TV. Yeah, like all you gotta do, look at the reward. Oh, let me just do it on here. Go to here, placeholder. That's what you want. This is aimed at Navcatel. You want the placeholder hundred pound. If you do that one, in fact, there's quite a few people have done it. It's 104 people have done this. Just put 100 pounds. So all that does is it gets you on the Kickstarter. You're a Kickstarter backer. You and it just means that you're not paying. You're paying the bulk of it later. Now you will get. You get second preference to the the full backers, but you'll still be in the backer list, and you'll get them so before anyone else. But it means that you pay the balance then. Uh, just let people know I'm a born genius. You will love these products. Don't believe him. <laughs> he's He's got this thing that his IQ is higher than Einstein. He ain't a genius. <laughs> he's really clever, but he ain't a genius. And now he's going to probably berate me now. <laughs> but he is good. Um, maybe I had a hinge. <laughs> yeah, I did know that. <laughs> a hinge plastic flap on the front panel so everyone could break it off and get that authentic feel. My IQ is 157. I think what we should do, I think we should get happy to do the test on a live stream. What do you think? Not now. <laughs> Just for record, my IQ is 112. Stupid, really. Um, right. I think we. I think. Look, I've done nearly two. God, Jesus Christ! It's been two hours. Okay. Um, anyone got any more questions? I mean, it's been great actually because there's been like pretty much a hundred, a hundred, yeah, a hundred people on all the time, which is kind of twice what I normally get. So that's great news. Um, any more questions before I go? Because I am actually, as you can tell, my voice is going. I'm starting to get the sweats. <laughs> and after all, I have got COVID. Oh, Bradford's easy. No, I'll be alright. I'm just going to make it sound like I'm really not well and I need sympathy. <laughs> alright, okay guys. Um, I'm going to go now. Um, and, yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to speak to you all before Christmas, so I won't say happy Christmas, but I'm going to do a stream on Sunday. So if you want to come along to that, um, <laughs> hopefully you Hopefully I'll be on the way down from the COVID, not on the way up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so come along on Sunday, Sunday night. I'll be definitely doing one because then hopefully I'll be a bit more excited. I'm just, don't, I just, uh, I was concerned because I just, I'm not excited. I'm, I don't, I'm not really excitable, but God's sake, stupid camera. <laughs> um, I'm not uh, overly excitable, but um That'll come later. <sighs> right. Um, but, oh, what are we at now? 251,000. Thanks very much, everyone. And um, I will speak. To, thanks for thanks for all the questions, because that really helps. Oh, God. Be there. Or be flat screen a few years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody happy. Right, okay. See you guys later. Thanks very much.